I am a county extension educator with Tulsa Extension. And uh, what we're talking about today is farm animals and how they provide us with uh, food and fiber to make our life better. One of the great things uh, about farm animals is they provide us with meat and milk, uh, supplying an excellent source of protein which need, we need in our growth and maintenance of our bodies. Uh, here with me I've got Macon Bacon. She's a Poland China gilt. Uh, swine uh, provide my favorite breakfast food which is bacon. Uh, also ham, pork chops are all cuts of uh, uh, pork that uh, we get from swine. Uh, she is a gilt, uh, which means she is a uh, female that has not produced uh, piglets yet. Uh, she will uh, be able to raise two litters of pigs a year. We expect uh, uh, her to raise eight to twelve uh, babies at a time so she can uh, produce uh, roughly 20 pigs in a year's time. They'll weigh two to three uh, pounds each and uh, at birth. Uh, her pregnancy period is gonna be three months, three weeks, and three days. And uh, swine are a simple stomach to monogastric type animal, meaning that they have one stomach much like us and their dietary needs are much like that of a human. Now over here we have a uh, pair of uh, Boar goats, these does have not gave birth yet. Uh, they are of the, they're meat goats of the boar breed, and you spell that B-O-E-R. It's a breed that was originated in South Africa. Uh, their characteristics is having basically a white body with the red heads and the uh, long drooping ears and horns. There are many different breeds of goats uh, all over the world. These are meat goats, which uh, are raised for their meat. Uh, and uh, another type of goat, we also have dairy goats, which uh, the Alpine and Nubian would be breed examples. Uh, a milk goat can produce about a gallon of milk a day, uh, very productive for their size. Goats are ruminants, and that means that they actually, uh, we typically, have, they have four parts of their stomach, the rumen, the reticulum, abomasum and omasum, they uh, are able to utilize forage and turn it into meat, milk, um, meat, milk, and fiber. And uh, uh, goats have an interesting diet. They like browse. They would rather eat leaves, bark, uh, weedy species, uh, even poison ivy or something that goats uh, prefer to eat over grass but uh, they will also do well on grass and grain. We expect uh, meat goats to roughly kid one time a year. Uh, when they uh, have babies, we would prefer they have twins, uh, although occasionally you'll have singles, and then uh, quadruplets and triplets are also can be a possibility. Another type of uh, uh, goat that we have in the United States are the mohair, uh, goats and uh, uh, they uh, goats do not have wool they have hair and they actually clip these angora goats that is the breed that produces mohair and uh, that is that clip is made or they shear those goats and uh, the fiber or the hair that they produce is what makes up mohair over here we have some Hampshire sheep Sheep will have about a five month pregnancy period. Lamb is what we term the meat we get from sheep. Uh, that'll be from uh, animals less than a year of age. Uh, older animals that go to slaughter uh, produce what we call mutton. Lamb is very popular with uh, different ethnic groups in different regions of the country. Uh, sheep also produce wool. The black face breeds, uh, wool is not as valuable as many of the white face breeds that have been developed like Grand Blay or Merinos uh, for their wool clip. Uh, black face breeds, wool, actually most of it goes into the carpet industry. The white face breeds that will have a longer, uh, uh, more luxurious fleece, uh, that are, those are breeds that the wool clothing comes from. Uh, that uh, has been popular uh, 
since uh, for years and years because of its ability to insulate and keep people warm even when wet. Uh, sheep uh, are also ruminants. They're forage grazers. Uh, they do like uh, a lot of broadleaf and weedy species, uh, more so than cattle, but uh, will graze grass. And uh, when uh, these ewes give birth, uh, again, we would prefer that they have twins. We will have a few singles, and they can get into the higher multiple births. But uh, uh, sheep uh, can meet a lot of needs and uh, are uh, a small ruminant that have been successful uh, in this country for uh, many, many years.